Hello and welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bri. I'm here with my brother Bryson. Hello. My father Gary. Hello. And my mother Shelly. Hello. Today we're going to be chit-chatting to you, uh, um, reading your comments and suggestions and questions from the re- most recent Weekly Peak, as well as some uh, you know, behind-the-scenes stuff. That didn't get in the video, or just some extra tidbits and juicy, juicy tidbits that, yes. that came along juicy with the tidbits. production last week. Pretty cool, juicy, juicy. <laughs> juicy. I was trying to, you know, amp, you know, hype it up. A little. Oh yeah, okay. And get a little, get some, some fun words. Okay, so <laughs> that is a fun word. <laughs> juicy. Albuquerque. <laughs> I can do it too. Um, okay, so in Florida, the weekly Georgia. peak, we had. Let's Alabama. see, what do we have? Uh, oh, oh, we had Sohi of the Trim from yeah, Garen and Ellie. Yeah. It was one of the ones. And they used a comment that we actually had gotten this suggestion quite a bit, and that was to soak the uh, trim before trying to bend it to whatever shape that they were looking to do. Of course, for them, it's that little... Seemed like a great idea, too. Great idea. Okay, so, but on the video, we had lots of people, f- uh, lots of folks saying, hey, it's not soaking, you steam it. Um, or hot water. Interesting. Or soak. You can do a both, Soaking I guess. Hot water. Which, which is what we did. Uh, Pythia Calls said, um, steam or soak it in hot water for an hour at most. Less is okay. Four days is too long. <laughs> 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 which was uh, something that they discovered was a no-no. What? I wonder, um, there was, uh, some folks were saying too that, I don't know if it's just a matter of getting it too wet or something, but when it dries, it can crack. Too. So I guess maybe not oh. getting it too wet because oh. on the comeback it has problems. Oh, they yeah. might come back to it this week and go Ooh. see a bunch of cracks. I guess. Oh, I hope not. I hope it worked for him. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it worked, except now there's a huge crack in the <laughs> My bad. Okay. So aren't you interested in how that works? Like why heat over cool works better? I'm just thinking. Saying? Yeah, because wood's cellulose cell has a little sections of membranes that make up its comp you know make up those grains of things that that cause it to grow like that i'm just curious how i don't know but i i've how water can in, can change those membranes I, i've recently learned that uh woods and toilet papers and papers and stuff are made out of a bunch of sugars they're just bonded in a different way and if you can actually break their bonds and turn them into sugars it's amazing. It's really so cool. So, what do we do? Put it, put paper on our cereal, or how's that? Well, function? you have to you have to break the bonds, and then it turns into. Oh, a it's sugar. not so hard. You just rip the paper and put <laughs> it in pieces. <laughs> no, no. So you have really, to break the mani- <laughs> middle, you know, the molecule <laughs> molecularly. Structure. Okay. Can you imagine like chains? going to the store and getting plywood sugar? <laughs> <laughs> now, plywood has other stuff in it, though. But oh, that's good. Well, I mean, just. I mean, tree sugar. <laughs> <laughs> what is going so on with these rowdy two? over here? They're so rowdy. You know, <laughs> oh god. Chip, if you're if you're just listening, Chip and and Luna are taking turns jumping up on Mom's lap, but, and they're wrestling down and below wrestling. me. So I'm trying to get them to calm down, but it, they're, they're pretty excited. Very funny. They're excited about the podcast. They today. are so they are. excited. They have a lot to say. You know, say. it's a good day. Speaking about animals, did you know that I was always watching this nature show? Because you know that's what I do all the time. Yeah. You no, know, and it was filming animals at night, and so it, it's not. Just, we've not done a lot of filming at night because we've never had the cameras to do it. Yeah. But during a full moon, we actually have cameras that are are ultra ultra sensitive, and they can pick up the light of the moon, and it it reveals night like it's day. Wow. It's really cool. And so they were filming. And did you know that cheetahs, they were originally seen as solitary hunters during the daytime. Well, they're actually not. They actually hunt at night. But usually during full moon is when they hunt because they can actually see. But they actually catch a lot at night. In packs? Um, in packs. Yeah, cheetah packs and stuff, wow. you know. I just recently really? learned that. And Are they orange really in, in little bags? I oh, don't know. Cheetos? Are you oh, thinking Cheetos? Because <laughs> oh, I, just I was very confused there. For you know, sometimes we have to hunt second. Cheetos at night. No. We hunt Cheetos oh. at night. Speaking of Cheetos. Yes. I just learned that hot Cheetos were invented by uh, a, a janitor from Mexico. Really? He, him and his wife, they came up, but they're like, you know, there was... Uh, uh, um, the Latino population, they're like, we we can really market t- with something a little bit more spicy, oh. and so him and his wife came up with Very this spicy, good. and then he he's just you know he's a janitor, you know, but and so he gives the VP a call, and and is like, hey, I've got this great idea, 
you know mm-hmm. anyway that's so that's great that's cool hey i awesome. want to say something sorry. on the night thing too because <laughs> cool. oh i'm sorry i, I, I had something happen that uh, was um expected but then something unexpected happened and may maybe um you might know why it happened hmm. um i in the past i've had uh hummingbird feeders and then through the night if you know uh those bats that are sh- they're sugar eating type bats with the long tongues they will dr- just completely uh, you know, take Drain out your whole bird. juice uh, through the night in one in e- one in evening. a uh, hummingbird feeder. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, hummingbird, yeah. hummingbird feeder. She has some yep. hummingbird feeders yes. outside, and the bats will just they'll eat the whole thing. Yeah, in one uh, night. Do you know too? I learned something on those bats, but go ahead. I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, later. okay. Um, anyway, so my mom had bought me a beautiful new blue one um, right outside my window. I love it, and sure enough. Um, that was started happening again with the bats, and I could actually see them going in, and, yeah, and, go in and anyway, they devour the whole thing mm-hmm. in one night. So um, I kept pulling it in at night, you know, in the daytime, and then I just when I came in at night, I brought it in every night, and I did that for about a week, and then of course I forgot a, a night or two, and all of a sudden they weren't doing it anymore. So I don't know if they just go into hibernation or they moved on. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, if you've noticed, now for a week, I've not had to take those in. So I I don't know if you might know, uh, do they hibernate? hibernate? I have a theory. I have a theory because I recently on that nature show, you know, because I watch it so much, they actually brought up a bat that, um, and the thing is, all the cactuses that we have in the desert, a lot of them don't bloom during the day or cacti. They actually bloom at night. And then those bats, that's how they pollinate. Apparently they have a tongue that's their entire length of their body like it's really long because i thought that maybe we could make the hummingbird feeders like design them in a certain way that they can't get in but with a tongue the size of their body i don't think there's going to be a way (laughs) oh my goodness (laughs) yeah i understand too they don't hover so they um, just come but you can imagine to devour that whole thing in a night they are voracious eaters insane um i want to say something on that though they follow the flowers oh so as the the deserts bloom they follow them so oh. maybe we were just during a blooming season. Or that so was a bloom around, for them. It was a bloom, was a bloom and them. it went away, so they and moved they on. they followed it. And so, yeah, now that maybe they've moved on to other pastures. And just, that's interesting because I, yeah. I learned that on that nature show. Oh. As silly as it is but at night. Cheetos. Not pastures, cactors. Apparently they're kind of a, a, a rare <laughs> bat. <laughs> apparently, yeah, yeah, and I wouldn't mind. Kind of I really bat. wouldn't mind feeding the bats too. I don't have a problem. I think bats are, you know, obviously they're part of nature, and I I, I like bats too, if I dare say that. <laughs> but um, not but the I'm not going to do it. Though. Not I if I have to those. do that hummingbird feeder every day. That's just that's over the top for me. That's I couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. The, the vampire <laughs> bats scare me. I don't really care for those. Do they come up to you and they say, I want to suck your blood? No, they like latch on to animals. Oh, we don't want to know. It's okay, we're moving on. It's nasty. That's, it's that's the reason why they're called vampires. I'm trying <laughs> to make this thing funny and you're Sorry. going... You're going crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I, I, I said they were scary. I, I don't want to be... Uh, it's just it's too early to be uh, traumatized by oh, vampire bats. So Limerick Man said, for bending wood planks in a short time, you need to heat and steam. Other wood needs weeks soaking in water for best pliable... Um, to bend without cracking, including pieces with knots. Best not to have knots to be Sorry, successful in bending wood. Knots. It can crack as it dries out. No. Okay. That's interesting. I that. think Garen so, and Ellie learned that one. <laughs> I did too, watching but, it. But <laughs> what I thought was so interesting about this one is that, depending on the wood, depends oh. on how long you soak it. Like a harder oh, wood, longer time, a softer Yeah, it looks wood. like... Oh, like for depends on the... Other wood needs weeks to soak in water for the best pliable. So, so the difference between hardwood and... Softwood? The softwood, Gary, is something to do with the... Hard and soft. Uh, no, it has something to do with um, if he has leaves and if the leaves fall off. Deciduous? Oh. I think it ha- that's what the difference between really? the two are. are yeah. Really? Uh, there is a little bit of a difference. Most of those that have leaves are harder woods um, than those like deciduous trees like pine or fir are softwoods. I mean, so, that's not always the case, but that's... Yeah, because like a mesquite tree seems like a really hard wood, but yeah. it loses its leaves, so... yeah. Maybe it's considered well, okay. a soft The desert is like sure. an well, exception to every rule. Actually, mesquite, <laughs> mesquite is almost a bush. Almost. It can be, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. people because don't consider them trees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I had a brilliant thought when he was when you were reading that comment. Mm-hmm. He said steam. <laughs> Could you use a um, iron? For ironing clothes <laughs> on a piece of wood <laughs> to steam it, we and have to on our that's iron. not a bad idea. I don't, I don't know how thick the wood is, but could you use an iron to 
iron the wood with you those could, steam. You, you wouldn't you know? even need to touch the wood either. You could actually just run the. Couldn't you just yeah. run the steam on it? I don't know. You know. I think they're talking that, about would that work? It in, putting it in a box that's got steam in it that it has a chance to actually get it all the way around it uniformly. And, and it looks and like it's like they come out of PVC. There oh, was okay. lots of sure. suggestions for PVC really? steamers. The that plastic could be made. wouldn't oh. melt or anything? I don't remember. It'll take up it's to 90 steam. or more degrees. Yeah, especially if you get the probably the certain kind of it. I wouldn't want to heat that steam up too okay, hot. Okay, now, Dad, I thought yes. this was super cool. <laughs> yes. I thought this was super cool because you're going to be doing guitars in the future. <laughs> yes. Okay, so as his case says, I once saw a master guitar maker put sheets of wood in a container full of water and fabric softener. He left it in a cool, dark room for three days, and once he took the wood out, it was very flexible, and he made the outer guitar body. Hope this helps. <gasps> oh. Isn't that interesting? And fabric it smells softener. nice. Oh, yes. true. F- Febreze. Like, okay, so immediately <laughs> my mind it. goes, what does the fabric softener do? Softens the wood. Well, it's kind of more of a gel or a. Well, I'm if you think about like this, if you think like about this, I, 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 actually have to say, I don't know what. If it's you think about this, made out of. maybe because oh. like fabrics are very similar to wood, because mm. it's all part of cotton, that cotton, that, 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 that organic, you know, organic yeah. fabric, okay. right? Mm-hmm. So if the fabric softener softens your clothes, wouldn't it do the same thing to wood? Because it's in that same general. I like that. Um, well, yeah, cloth you know. is fiber. So yeah, fibrous kind of thing. Fiber and, and wood is fiber. So if you're softening your fiber on your clothing, you'd be similar. Probably. But I don't know what a fabric the softener fiber, does. F- coats you know, the fiber so that it makes the it regular pliable. Clothes. I wonder if it's it also soft. helps it not crack or something, too. I wonder if it helps. Oh, maybe it helps to prevent the, it. Yeah. I don't know. All, all the wondering. We could know, you know five minutes. I don't have you know, maybe. a... Looking I don't it up. have a... Chemically, maybe. or... I can't even figure this out. Maybe he wanted that guitar to feel just... Amazingly soft. You know what his favorite and he smell knew was? That he could put fabric <laughs> You know, you only use that guitar for <laughs> soft music. If oh, it's not a rock guitar. No, with rock guitars, you soak it in rock, rock. water. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Fabric right softener right. for soft music. Yeah. Rock, met- soft rock. He could do soft rock. Soft. Well, well that's about jazz. Add yeah. rocks to the so- soft. What about jazz, yeah. Scare? Jazz. You don't soak it at all. You just get it out there. Hmm. It, it's organic, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't even know if you could use so, a guitar in jazz. Okay, okay. So now we also worked a oh. little bit more on. I thought the, that was more of a trumpet thing. We we also worked <laughs> a little bit more on the um, uh, the building, our building, our tub building um, wall. It's not really a building; it won't have a roof, but it, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, and John John's had a really great idea. So you have to you have to. Put g- get your head out of the box a little bit for this comment. Are you ready? Have you guys ever thought about changing the color of the bags and ending the seams in certain locations to get a pattern? That would bring a different dimension to your guys' earth bag houses. So That's I was cute. thinking, like, you could with make it like a little bit like pixel art. So you would just have certain bags, certain colors. <sighs> you, you, want, you know the problem with that, right? Yeah, the only problem is is that the sun deteriorates the bags if they're left. That's the you only could issue. You UV protect them, though. You could soak them it with lasts something for that's just UV a little while, protected. Though, like six years. It's not very long. What it if you could like? But it wouldn't last. What if yeah. you could? What if you? Hmm. What if you did it? Um, interesting. Where you had the bags, and you know what color they were going to be and the length that they were going to be, and then you coated them in colored resin. Well, the resin hardens. The resin also would break down in the sun. It's plastic, it and it, it hardens. Hmm. Too. Now there That's are a good UV idea, though. protected. I like your yeah, resin. There, there's what probably else could a we do? way to do there it. There are UV protected things. UV protected paint. Yeah, you just I mean, you put paint on the outside of your house. You could use. Yeah, you just paint, you paint it. Yeah. He was also talking about arranging the seams in a certain pattern too. Yeah, so you so get you the plan seams out and the where color. it's going to end and start. Wow, that would. That would be awesome, but way beyond my brain. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble just with getting just getting those getting bottles, bottles in. in. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, we had the suggestion, too. It's pretty too. hard to get those scenes where you want them. It you would could be spend a lot of time just moving the bag to you get could it do to it where though. you want it. You could, it. Do, it. You could think, do it, though. I think if we had a program that had the correct d- dimensions and you 3D modeled it, it yeah. might be easier because you could guess how, how thick the bags are going to be. Because, I mean, Four they're inches. on average. They're yeah. going to be. And then maybe we could really narrow maybe mm-hmm. you'd have to because I mean with something that complicated I feel like mm-hmm. you'd need to like sketch up really right there already go got crazy. it I you know I have a yeah. little sign that I want to make for our backyard um, with a little uh, some sort of saying on it 
maybe we should try something on like that along the lines to make something you know three foot high and and design something small and and keep the bags because the look of the bags would be great for the sign i've been trying to think of something mm-hmm. to make the sign out of that I don't want it wooden. I don't want it. I would like it earth baggy, and that might really work for a really cute sign. Hmm. Maybe we try something like yeah, that. Yeah, like the entrance to a, well, like an entrance to a housing development has like a little thing. So you do that at the at the like <clears throat> where you turn in, like on the side. Yeah, of something our, to just. What if we like? Okay, so our gate. We have those two. What if we did it right at our gate? Like yeah, a yeah, there, wherever so the location was. But I think that just gave. Hey, thank um, you. I think that just gave me the answer for that sign, and it would be an easy one to start out with on trying to figure out where those lines would go in those bags. And then we'll just use we'll just use paint, and then we'll we'll see. And if that broke down, it would not be really be the a end problem. The but it, I think it'd be okay maybe with paint. Yeah, we might need a little uh, shed up there at the gate, like a little area to hold stuff if you if you wanted to put it like an automatic gate <laughs> Do in, we put a guard in there too well the automatic gate in we need something to Shit. put the motors and you know solar oh, on yeah, and yeah. stuff we'll just do a little so if you did a little sign you could put with a little roof on, on it the solar panels could power what's underneath it and, and then, then you also could get solar panel lights so at night the sign would light oh up. my goodness yeah <laughs> We're getting really elaborate, but yeah, and that's then, that's and a then good glow point. in the dark. <laughs> yeah, and glow bleak. in the dark, and then we could add paint. a house to it in a bathroom, and you know, we just and we could <laughs> sit up there. It could be just, the guest house, and we could watch the gate. <laughs> just we could put some cameras on there. there. Just, yeah, get some cameras going on there. We could count all ten cars that may go by. Ooh, yeah. we could measure people's wow. speed as they drive by. Uh, well, yeah, and no. then I have a big old sign that that marks it what they're driving. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. then, then you know the slow down speed you know the slow down boom blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. and it's above five miles an hour slow down <laughs> <laughs> okay <Eddie>. so uh, <laughs> srq lisa <laughs> srq lisa said where you put the lizard back on the tree those mushrooms only grow if the tree is dead it's very interesting that you should say that lisa <laughs> because okay i usually at least around the house i keep the trees pretty trim so we can walk underneath them without hats or hair being pulled which yeah. is the most irritating this, thing this when you're walking. particular tree branch grows over it one goes, of our doors yeah it goes over it grows over a door and i remember it, it happened right after i think you got home mom and i was i was going man i've really let these because we couldn't open the door yeah like the, the one tree. day we were able to open it's it, the just door fine. to the courtyard yeah, yeah it's yeah. the door to the court, main door i use it all the time yeah, yeah. and I, I, you open it and we you know it was just about yeah. a day and later. All of a sudden, there, the tree that grew over there, all, I, I, you couldn't even, you can't even open the door. It like grew in the way. It, it was. And I was like, <laughs> I really let this go. Is what I was thinking. I was like, man, I, I, I really let this go more than I thought. And then, I think it was, it must have been last week. They were like, yeah. that tree's broken. It's, it's broken. It's broken. <laughs> Which explains why it grew so fast. Because one day we're opening the door. The next day it was in the way. And I was like, gosh, why is going on? in the way? Yeah. So Brie trimmed it. And then... Um, I did. I trimmed it. And then I don't know if we noticed it was broken by then or not. But it got in the way again. Um, yeah. Now it still is in the so way. So Lisa, you are absolutely but, right. Yeah. It's yeah. it's a dead branch. Let me tell you something. And We've, we would have uh, we would have cut it off already, but it provides a lot of shade when we're building that um, a little wall. That there. little wall. I mean, it's only like a four foot section. But I know, <laughs> but shade. a shade is shade. It's there's hard to. Shade. It's sad to lose any any part to any tree, but mm-hmm. I don't know why that one broke. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the like goats are going to love base. eating on that. The, the cat claw, that's a cat claw mm-hmm. tree, and uh, the goats animals absolutely it. adore the flavor of that right. tree. I don't know why, but we'll throw it over to them. They'll be happy. Yeah, for It's sure. kind of weird. All the trees we have here produce beans. Cat claw produces a bean. Mesquite produces a bean. Yeah. All right, so. They all produce beans. Okay, I'm going to try to pronounce this name. It's pretty amazing. Twelve. <sighs> <laughs> Gigi Gringoko? Um, did you buy your skid steer new or used, and did you find it on, like, a Craigslist? And we did. We bought it used. It if was, we'd have bought it new, we'd have to have buy it, bought it in the 70s? Yeah. It was, I would came have out in the, the 70s. 70s. <laughs> um, it's like one of that the only... before I was developed in eyelids. <laughs> it was the only one of the very few ones that ran off of um, gasoline and not diesel. Uh, they eventually moved all the way over to diesel because obviously it's superior when it comes to horsepower and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's one of the few that actually run off of gas, which is, I guess, kind of a nice thing. Uh, it's something yeah, I know how to you, work on at least. If you go back um, um, a few 
weekly peaks back you'll see where we actually purchased that one if yeah. if you didn't catch that episode yeah, i think, I it, think works we story, we? Uh, it works really good don't we it works really good for story. being in the in the 70s that tractor yeah. So. top comment is oh brie your unponied tailed hair style is very attractive <laughs> you, you are so nice Two weeks in oh, a row. Oh, yeah. Flattering. Well, I have to tell the story on this. Well, Bree was ready to, to do her little outro, and I said, oh, oh, I wanted to try something on her hair. And I am not a hair person. and I mean, I don't, you know, just that's not really my thing. But I had taken that and did that braid on the side, and, and, um, and the back looked horrendous, <laughs> looked horrendous, and we were laughing about it. But it looked okay from the front. Yeah. I think we realized, though, that it only needed to look good for about 10 minutes <laughs> and from one angle. So we were good. 10 minutes, one so angle. So, like, you know, the second one you did, though, at the very end was good. I could have kept that one in all well, day. Well, that's because um, uh, you had mentioned that we should needed to start that braid a little uh, earlier. You know, I grew up with three brothers, and I don't, I didn't really ever do the hairstyle stuff. So, anyway, sorry, Brie. You kind of, I wasn't able to pass no, any no, of that No, no, it was on. all good. Uh, hair is just one big mystery to the lot of us <laughs> women in this family. <laughs> uh, you mean, you mean it has to grow long? <laughs> you mean I have to put it into something? <laughs> Get it out of my way. I'm working. No, it's just such a, it is in the way all the time. I just want to work. I want to get up and get ready quickly. The hair is just such a it's irritating yes it's irritating let's be real top comment was what by uh 69 double cab it Aww. looks like who actually put Very that one out nice. and um anyway the second one here the second most liked comment is from v oh you know what they, that's uh well, at least it's coming up on the list, is V. De- DeWalt that says, Nothing like babies to steal the show. Baby mm-hmm. lizard, baby tree toad, and baby azalea. Yeah. We found so many yeah. babies this week. Oh, my goodness. There's little a lot. baby frog, little baby lizard. I'm so And then, of course, little baby azalea. But we didn't oh, just find her. She's been around. <laughs> <laughs> she's always been here. She's not a mean? cabbage patch. Yeah, she's always been here. She's always been here. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, did you want me to read any more uh, yeah, here? Whatever strikes your fancy. We did have one time for maybe one or two more. So, um, Wasn't there something uh, we were also going to talk about behind oh. the scenes? Oh, 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 that's on my list. I'll have to look. I'm sorry. I'm just, oh, I got your phone uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, well, I the dogs have settled down. Right. Chippy, I don't know if you can see him, but he's laying he's his head on him. Gary's leg here and and Luna's off to the side here. She's the instigator up. is laying down, so mm-hmm. we got a little calmer. There's peace in the kingdom for There's while she naps. Yes. Well, she's uh, she really is a really good uh, pack leader. She's mom she, calls her boss baby. Queen. She is boss baby, and she's been a little. Um, I don't know lately. She's not been. She's been a little out of sorts and a little bit bratty. You know, yeah, she's so been a little I got her some chewies, and I think that that's helping. It's good she's not chewing up other good she's, things in our house. She's be been chewing. chewing she's, not she's had the chewer. munchies, yeah. mom. I, yeah, <laughs> she's maybe she's going through a growth spurt. You I know what? Yeah. Got Who Shelly knows? a brand new cord for her phone, and it's chewed in half. You know what I would Your love? Your favorite glasses? She's got uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's, all yeah. of the decorations she's in the so house. Funny. There's a bite mark in all of them. <laughs> She'll go in and get Shelly's shoes and bring them out to the living to the kitchen. And so pretty soon we find She makes no bones about it. No, she's chewing on it, and it's right in front of you. And then she, like, you take it away from her, and she's like, what did I do? I don't understand. Well, <laughs> and she hasn't been doing it for months and months and months, no. and she just started, like... She's like, two. Like, just something's just... I don't know. Something's up with her. I'm trying to figure yeah. it out. I, and I, like, I don't mm. think she's trying to, like, get back at you. I really don't. I, that's she why I bought her surprised. chewies. She gets I think surprised she just needs to... to she's, she know. needs to chew for some reason. So. Yeah, you know what would be really cool? Is if you made a filament... That's edible for dogs. So you make little dog treats, and you can oh, print dog Bryson. treats, chewables. Yeah, that edible. would be really well, cool. Well, the filament could, oh, could be rawhide. That, that would be... That I would know be, they make... Do you know uh, that those chewies have gone up so much in price, and I don't know why. The rawhide type mm. ones? Oh, well, they those, do those make are something more like that. the meat ones. It, they do make something like they that. They do a chocolate one. No, they call I've it a seen, moccasin. <laughs> But he's talking about 3D printing something. Yeah, you'd that have would to be do so a, cool. It'd have to be more of a dog treat, something... Yeah, something made I don't know that's chewy, that could be hard, that could still be edible, that dogs can chew on. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. It need to be chewy. But what you got, Bree? Okay, so we had talked about doing the full too. version 
on Friday, this oh, Friday or next. Right. Yeah, uh, we were discussing that this morning, and I think what we're going to do um, is either this Friday, but more likely the Friday after. We're going to we're going to in place of a weekly peak, we'll put the full version kitchen. Um, I think we'll probably wait till so we can announce it this Friday um, that we're going to we'll do that as a replacement um, for that. And that will be about an hour and a half. It might run an hour and 45 minutes with um, jokes at the end. We'll see. But it will be right around an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the summary uh, of the uh, of kitchen. the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Which took a year to build. <laughs> yeah, it did, yeah. and so we'll just um, we got uh, we're narrowing it down further and further because you got you know a year's worth of video. You know, you got several hours of edited. You don't want to put up a six-hour video <laughs> if you've edited before. Once something's edited and you want to edit it down further, very difficult to get rid of minutes because it's already tight. So we got to, and then we have to decide you know what to throw out and what to keep and and get Sections that down to a stuff. reasonable size of an well, hour. How many and a half, hours so. did you say you had? Seven hours or? Well, um, I haven't gone through some of it, but just just to the point where, um, not even to the point where we're putting in any of the end pieces. Uh, we're we're it's probably um, it's about a four hour show, and we haven't got to the part where we've got the doors and the and the concrete countertops oh or gosh. any of those things. So um, anyway, but we'll just decide what, to s pieces, what uh, to pieces to keep, to keep, and then we'll have big chunks of it that'll be missing. And that you can always go back to the weekly peaks yep, if somebody we'll wants to see something a little more detail of that particular item. You know, we don't go into great detail even in the weekly peak, but if someone wants to get a better look at it, they can go back. But we want to keep that into an hour and a half so that it can just you know it can be a nice. It can be a nice little movie. Yeah, to sit of, down and watch. Yeah. So, and like yeah. what's cool about that Start too is we've gone through and, and mom mom's gone through and cut out all the good parts you know so in that hour and 30 out? you know no cut out all the good parts and put them in one oh, okay. you know hour and a half show so you get all the nice and fun fun highlights almost but not highlights but you know completed hopefully, yeah the best events. parts yeah whatever. hopefully the best yeah parts we've done that as you know that. but with other ones too but the kitchen has been uh dragging our feet a little bit we've had some trauma that's happened <laughs> um, both uh, things that have happened as you know and so it slowed us down a little bit but and then on top of that it's an enormous um, bunch of footage it's that needs to go through and decide oh, yeah, what to but keep we'll it, get it. We'll we'll get it. we will it's and, gonna be done and, and our goal is amazing. to get it um, oh, yeah. by next week now I'm, I'm, I'm ton done messing around I'm gonna put my nose to the grindstone and if we don't have to put out a weekly peak it gives us that extra time to put in towards that one so that will help to get it out too Right. So it, it's time. It's, it's, it's time to get that out. It's going to be really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really cool. Yeah, so that'll be, uh, I don't know if it'll be this week, but it will be next week. Uh, it's More our likely. Goal. More yeah. than likely next Friday. So, um, yeah, that'll be, that's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we really, we really appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family and taking, giving us great ideas, all of the wonderful comments that have really uh, impacted and improved our projects. Oh, my goodness. That's so I've, cool. I got I got one project that's uh, I gotta go find that comment of the of the lady that suggested rugs because I'm so excited about that project when that Ooh. gets here. But making your own rugs, mm, I have to. She's have like, to you say. should make your own rugs. And I thought, oh, but then I looked it up. I'm like, ah. so <laughs> I'm I really excited. Say, she got r really excited about. It. I saw it. I got really excited. But like, let's go make some rugs. I'm like, yeah. oh, no, maybe I should. We're waiting for pieces to arrive, and then we'll share more with you on that one. But <laughs> yeah, so yeah. thank you so much for taking part in in everything that we do. It's it's, uh, it improves everything. We really appreciate it. it does. So, we really appreciate it. Thank you again. And we will catch you on Wednesday for that midweek peak. Bye. Bye. Bye.